hi there everyone and welcome to this video what we're going to talk about today is the copy company function within business central which uh, basically allows you to copy companies within your business central environments uh, before we start what we're going to do is just switch screens over to a visio which i've prepared just to illustrate what a company is within business central uh, so I'm just going to switch screens and we'll talk about that. So here's the Visio um, and you can see here within our business central um, architecture, we, we basically, uh, within our business central architecture, Visio, sorry, we've got our Entra ID tenant. Uh, within the Entra ID tenant, if I zoom in here, we have our business central environments. Um, and this is a typical sort of setup that you would see. We have uh, usually a production BC environment where your live processing happens. Um, you've got a UAT, or user acceptance testing BC environment where um, users can do their testing before functionality goes from UAT into production. Um, you've got test environment, um, which is usually where consultants can do testing of uh, development or config. Um, and a sandbox BC environment where developers can do their development. Um, so obviously it could be structured a, a little bit differently to that, but typically you would see um, these four um, environments within your, your BC setup. Um, and remember we can have um, out of the box three sandbox environments and one production environment. So the idea is, is um, your sandbox, your test, your UAT would be sandbox environments and your production would be production. But you don't have to follow this sort of um, this setup configuration. It's up to us how we do that. So to continue underneath each of the environments that we have in this area of the diagram, uh, we basically have what we call business central companies um, underneath there. Um, so if we uh, if we operated with multiple companies, multiple entities, they can indeed be set up in Business Central um, and they would be set up at environment level. OK, so here you can see we've got our production BC environment and underneath the production BC environment, you've got company one, company two, company three. Um, and in your UAT BC environment, you also have a UAT version of company one, company two, company three. Um, and then in your test BC environment, you've got a test company, usually Cronus, like the one that uh, I'm, I'm doing all my demonstrations in. Um, and the same with Sandbox, you usually have some test um, data, just a, a Cronus environment there. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, any development, et cetera, that we're doing in the business central environment usually starts life out in sandbox and we move through the different environments, eventually releasing to production once we are happy with the way that works. Um, and all I'm about to talk you through in business central is how we can make a copy of one of these companies within one of these environments um, as uh, as we wish within uh, within our particular BC environment. Now, bear in mind, you can create environment copies as well. So I'll cover that in another video. But today we're focusing on the elements down here. So just the company and copying one company to another in a particular environment. So let me switch back to BC and I'm just going to show you how um, to do this uh, within Business Central and uh, before I do that, though, I'm just going to take you to my admin center to show you which environment I'm currently working in. Um, so let me just switch to my admin center. So here we are within the admin center and uh, you can see here I've got a few environments. So I've got my production, my NL test, my sandbox and the test. So it's not in line with those environments that I just showed you on the Visio, I know. Um, but um, it's just a, a demonstration environment. So this isn't, you know, it's not got any live data or anything like that. And you know, I just use this for, for demos. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my production environment so I can just click the, uh, the little icon here to open up my production environment. And now I'm within my production environment when this loads. And what I'm going to do is search for a page here called companies. Um, so what this does is it brings up a page and it basically shows me the list of companies that we have in our 
environment. So within the production environment, because that's where I chose to go, um, it's showing me a, a list of current companies. And uh, we do have other videos where we show you how to um, how to move between each of the companies. Um, but for this video, we're just going to focus on uh, copying uh, an existing company. Um, and in order to do that, what I must do is highlight the relevant company that I want to copy. Um, and once I've highlighted my record there, I just click copy. I type my new company name and I just have a, a bit of a read of the disclaimer here so I won't read it out word for word but what Microsoft are basically saying here is that we should usually do this out of business hours because whilst a company is being copied um, people won't be able to work in that company at that point in time right so it's gonna it's gonna lock the tables and basically mean that users cannot process um, so they can't do their daily tasks in that company whilst it is being copied um, so definitely when you're doing this in a production environment um, you know make sure you're doing it out of hours sometimes you know some companies might have a, a cab process in place for this sort of thing so uh, obviously don't don't go ahead and do this in um, your uh, your production environment without seeking any advice from uh, from your IT team or whoever takes care of um, your, your BC environments. Sandbox environments not that much of an issue. You can copy during business hours if uh, if that's okay with the wider team that you're working with. So uh, just just be careful with that. And we do have to tick the um, I understand flag here. And if I press OK, what that's going to do is it's basically going to go away and copy my Cronus UK limited company into a new ZZ copy company um, in my production environment. Now, just whilst that's copying, um, we'll talk through why would you need to do this well. You might want to do some testing. You might want to have an up-to-date data set to do some testing in your, in your production environment. Um, equally, as I mentioned, just a, a consideration, you can copy whole environments down as well. So going back to the diagram that I showed you earlier, you can use a function within the admin center, which I will cover in another video. You can copy your production environment down to a UAT or sandbox or, or test environment if you wanted to do that as well. Um, and that can be done without locking users within um, and business hours as well. So just uh, bear that in mind. Um, I guess it just depends sort of what type of testing you want to do um, and that will drive um, um, sort of the, the decision that we make and uh, the route that we take on this. Um, so as you can see guys it is taking a while here um, but just bear in mind the larger your company is i.e. the more um, transactions you have within that company the longer this is going to take. Um, hence why they say that this shouldn't be done um, within business hours. So um, just be careful with that. Okay, so now that's done and we just basically get a message saying company Cronus UK Limited has been copied successfully. If I press OK here, we now have a new company called ZZ Copy because that's what I choose to, that's what I chose to name it. Um, and that is basically a copy of the Cronus UK Limited company at this point in time. So all the transactions, all the data, as it was the point where I said copy, is copied from the Cronus UK Limited company into the ZZ Copy company. And I can just use the, um, the drop down. Sorry, it looks like that's not updated yet. Maybe when I refresh. But if I go into my settings and company here, I can go into ZZ copy and that will allow me to do whatever testing I need to in that environment. And uh, just as a quick note, we will do some more um, um, videos on this, but you can delete companies from this page as well. Obviously, be very careful when you're doing that. And uh, I guess not everyone will have permissions to do that specifically, uh, especially uh, more so in a, a production environment. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.